What's up everyone? Uh, as you can see we are in our studio right now, but we are still not even close to being done. Um, we are still working on getting a better uh, photography lamp that we're going to put in the back to hopefully illuminate the studio a lot better. Right now we're just using the regular desk lamp just to get some light in here. And as you see it's not really that good, so please forgive me for that. Um, in this episode here we are going to be doing uh, seven casts that I picked up over the last couple of days. Uh, I thought these were pretty cool. I think you guys will like them. Some you guys have probably seen already. Uh, some maybe not. I know there's one in my hand right now that I have not seen. And we'll look at that when we get back. Welcome to Tune Tracks Racing. Welcome back. Um, before we actually look at the cars that I picked up, I just want to let you know that tomorrow I will be uploading the second day of the Team Ford qualifiers. That video is already complete. I'll upload that tomorrow. And the day after that, I got a treat for you guys. I actually just picked up a really, really cool new garage that's bigger than the one you see over here. This one's like really small compared to this one. And I think you guys are going to like it. Um, if you do follow us on Facebook, you probably have already seen it because I posted pictures of it. And I thought it was really cool. And I'll have a whole entire review on that Thursday. And then on Friday, I am hoping I can get the, the last of the Ford qualifiers up. Could because this Saturday I want to work on the 500 episode video. Since Jason's been dying to do that, so I figure that... We can finally film that Saturday and probably have that up Sunday for you guys. And then uh, maybe Tuesday we can start up the next uh, qualifiers. So I'm thinking it's probably be Lamborghini. Um, actually, if you guys want to vote for it, uh, let me know which uh, brand you want to see next. Just comment down below. We still got uh, Chevy. We still got Dodge. We got Lamborghini. And I believe we still have Nissan too. So um, again, you guys can just post down below which one you guys want to see next. And we'll do it that way. I think that'll be a lot more fun. Alright, the first cast I'm going to show you is one I have never seen before. Maybe you guys have. It's pretty funny because I was about to post this up tonight thinking nobody's ever seen this. And then, long and behold, another channel. I just posted up the same exact cast today. Uh, it was Sayoki Diecast. It was another good channel. I'll post a link down below so you can check that out. Uh, he has really good content. And you can see it on his channel too. But the one I am talking about right now is the Dodge Viper SR. T10 ACR and I thought this one was really cool. I really like the baby blue on it. I thought that was a pretty cool tampo scheme on this with the blue, white, and black. I have never seen this one before. I don't know if you guys have. If you have, let me know. But I thought it was like uh, a really neat casting. I actually picked this one up online. Because like I said, uh, getting older cars here in Thailand is almost impossible unless you get it online. And as you can see, this is from the Nightburners. It's 8 out of 10. And I'll show you the front. I hope the light's good enough where you guys can see at least some of it. Again, I'm going to get better lighting in here, hopefully next week. Aziz, light! Much better. Thank you, Aziz. So I can give you guys a lot better showcasing here. And underneath, you got the black base. In the back, you got no tampos at all. It's just regular casting. The spoiler is painted black on top. And of course you got the speed tempo along with the white and black on the hood. And then you got the Dodge logo in the front, which is pretty cool. You got the light tempos, which are stickers. And the fog lights are just part of the cast, which is neat. Then you got the black plastic ground effects on the bottom. I actually like the wheels. I don't know if you can see them that good in this really bad light, but they're uh, black wheels with gray rims. I think it looks pretty good, especially with this casting. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this one? Have you seen it before? And if so, do you guys have it? All right. Okay, next one we picked up is from the Forza Horizon 4 set, and this is the Lamborghini Veneno. And this one looks really, really beautiful. I'm a big fan of this. And again, guys, I just want to apologize for the bad lighting. Uh, this will be remedied. I will have this fixed really soon. I'm probably not going to do another video until I get it fixed. I didn't realize how bad it was until I'm doing this now. But I need to get this video out because you can see so many cars are going to be in the next qualifiers coming up. Um, 
Anyway, back to the casting, you can see this is a dark charcoal color on a black base. Uh, you can see it's got a really cool red and white outline going around the door. Uh, there are absolutely no tampos on the back. And you can see it's just a regular casting, but that still looks pretty good. I have no problem with that. The wheels look excellent. They are blacked out wheels. And it goes really good with the dark charcoal. Uh, on the hood, you can see it's got the three black stripes going from the hood all the way to the roof. And then in uh, two sets of wings, this looks pretty cool. I thought that looked really nice. It's a pretty cool touch. You can see on the door, it's got the four, uh, Forza Horizon 4 on it. Again, with the Forza Horizon logo. Again, excellent casting. I'm hoping this is really good on the track. Usually most bananas are fast. And I know this is going to be hard to see because of the bad lighting and it's a dark car, but I really apologize for that, guys. Really sorry. But here, that's the Forza Horizon 4 Lamborghini Veneno. Next one is the favorite that I got from this batch, and this is the Aston Martin Vulcan. Um, I know my son loves driving this car on the Crew 2. This is one of the first cars we got. It's a really, really nice hyper car. And as you see here, it's got like a far screen color. Uh, looks really cool with all the blacked out windows and a dark roof. And as you can see, it's got the black wheels and it's got the gray ground kit underneath. Of course, it goes along with the gray front and the gray back. The spoiler is black and that looks really nice. So you basically got three colors in this. You got the forest green, the black, and the gray. Um, the only tambos you can see is just the Aston Martin logo on the front. And I believe that's about it. All the rest is just straight up paint. And that's fine with me. This looks really cool. I'm a big fan of this casting. I'm hoping this does really good on track. Sadly, we don't have the Aston Martin in our leagues. So maybe next season we can get this in. Because I really want to see how this does. Uh, maybe we could throw it into a tournament you know, in between seasons. Who knows? It's up to you guys. But this is the Aston Martin Vulcan. This is from Hot Wheels Exotics. 3 out of 10. This is one of the brand new castings. And this looks really, really beautiful. I'm a really big fan of this one. I like it. I can't wait to see what the next color is going to be. Okay. Next one we got is the Alpine A110. And this car looks beautiful. I saw this right next to the Vulcan. So... I got that one too, and I'm a really big fan of the cars that have the license plates. I always think that's a really cool touch. You can see it has a license plate on the front and back. Hoping you can see it. And you can see the top. This is like a straight up casting, no fancy tampos on it. That's pretty cool. Looks like something's a little loose in here. I don't know what it is. Probably like a little pink flake. I don't know. I don't even see where it's coming from. Pretty interesting. But anyway, this is your factory fresh 6 out of 10, Alpine A10. And right before we move on, I just wanted to say that the, the lights are pretty cool. They look like they're just straight up painted on. They look pretty good. And you got the painted on red tail lights. And of course you got Alpine labeled on the back right above the license plate. All right, that's the Alpine A110. And the next one brings us to the Fast and Furious set I was talking about last haul. And I did find, happen to find this one, and this is really weird, because I know you guys are always used to me saying how expensive all the cars are in Thailand, how they're always like at least $3 a pop, and premiums and up are like seven, eight, sometimes even $10. We got this one, the 61 uh, Chevrolet Impala, and we got the 70, Monte Carlo each for a dollar each. I don't know what happened. I uh, actually found these online and they were only sold for about a dollar. So of course I snatched these right up. I was expecting these to be at least around six, seven dollars here. That's what they usually are. Sometimes or uh, just maybe a little bit cheaper around five if we're lucky. But as soon as I saw these, it was actually that same night when I did the video, the last haul video, I just happened to look online and they just put these up. And the guy who was selling them put them up for a dollar each. So here they are. <laughs> You're not going to get a much better deal than that than here in Thailand. And I don't even know in the U.S. how much they're even selling for. I would figure they'd be a little bit more than a mainline. But I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But now we have the Nissan. Now we have the Monte Carlo and the Impala. 
All right, I'm still looking for the Lancer Evolution. I've still not seen it here at all. Um, I'm probably gonna grab the Mazda next. I did see that. And I definitely want to get the Grand National too. So again, these are the castings. I'll show you the 70 Monte Carlo really quick. And again, my first car ever was a 79 Monte Carlo. So I really like my Monte Carlos. It's pretty good. I like how it's got the gray panel on the front. Matches the hood. Then it's got even a lighter gray on top. And it's got like a pale yellow painting. There's really no other tampons on this other than just the hood and the side. I got silver underneath. And it's the head on view. And this is the rear view. And then you can see the top. Again, sorry about the lighting, guys. Yeah, maybe that's better. Here we go. Alright, and that's the 71 Carlo. And the next one we got is the 61 Chevrolet Impala, which I just showed before. These wheels look like they're pretty good, so hopefully these wore down the track pretty good. And again, not really any tampons on it. You just got the, the design going across the car right there, which is like a silver and it goes to white. You got the Impala printed on in the rear, which looks really nice. You got the white interior, I'll show you here. Uh, windows are, look pretty good in the front. Just a slight tint in the front and back. No windows at all for the passenger and driver side. Except for the little front part of the window. That's about it. I like the chrome. Grill, that looks pretty good. Of course, you got the chrome bumpers. And again, this is the 61 Chevy Impala from the Fate of the Furious movie. And the other one was from Tokyo Drift. Okay, last but not least, we got another Impala, and this is the 64 Impala I got. And I thought this was pretty cool. I actually like the white and black designs. Usually I'm not a big fan of like wacky designs like this on cars, but I don't know, this one kind of struck me. It probably reminds me of something out of Chi and Chong. Am I driving okay? I think we're parked, man. I love those movies. I can just see them driving a car like this. And as you can see, it's from the Hot Wheels Art Cars 5 out of 10. And the top of it is really, really cool. Let's see if we get a better light on it. You can see it's got number five on the hood. Or, I'm sorry, on the roof. Got really cool artwork all across it. I really like the wheels. The wheels go perfect with it. But again, like I'm usually not like a big fan of these wacky tampo cars, but this one looked really cool. Now like it's got like the black grill. Contrast against the white body with the black paint. And there's no lights at all whatsoever. It's just a regular casting itself. Black base. And that's where you can see this one's got the white screen aside and the back one's just regular chrome, like silver. But again, this is the 64 Impala Hot Wheels Art Cars. And once again, I don't know if you guys can see it. But again, international cards, you can't tell what case it's from. It just says three back there. There's no case like it usually says back in the U.S. So a lot of times just to, uh, to see what kind of case is out in the store, you got to look at the particular models and see what's out there. And hopefully you can deduce what cases are stocked in the stores. And that brings up another point. I do want to do a peg hunting video, hopefully this weekend. Um, maybe after we do the... The 500 episode video, um, I think that'll be pretty cool. I know everyone's been asking me to do them. I've been wanting to do it. Uh, Jason has been raring to go outside. Poor kid's been trapped in the house for the last couple weeks. His temperature's been going up and down. So thankfully the last couple days he's been really, really good. Uh, he's been back to normal, been running around the house playing. So that's a good sign. So as long as he stays healthy and he stays energetic, we'll bring him to the store with us so we can do some peg hunting and show you guys a little bit of Thailand and what the malls look like too. Give you guys a little peek at it. I think it's pretty cool. Especially when some of the malls are like five, six floors high and which is different for me. I came from New Jersey. Most of our malls at most is probably two two stories. That was it. But anyway, this is the 64 Impala and again, it's from the Hot Wheels Art Cars, five out of 10. And that will conclude our quick haul and once again, guys, I am really, really sorry about the bad lighting. Uh, like I said, this is just temporarily. I'm not going to do another one of these until we get the new light coming in. And hopefully you guys stayed with me. <laughs> I'm really sorry again. 
and we will see you guys hopefully tomorrow for the qualifiers and then I cannot wait to, guy, to show you guys the garage Thursday. Alright, later everybody.